For today's video, we are going to talk about what is bonds and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say bond, it is an interest-bearing security which promises to pay, number one, a stated amount of money on the maturity date, and number two, regular interest payment called coupons. So basically, bond is a form of theft financing or raising money by borrowing from investors. And investors are guaranteed interest payment and a return of their money at the maturity date. And when we say coupons, it is the periodic interest payment that the bondholder receives during time between purchase date and maturity date and is usually received semi-annually. Coupon rate, that is the rate per coupon payment period and coupon rate is denoted by small letter R. Price of a bond, that is the price of the bond at purchase time and denoted by capital letter we also have par value or face value that is the amount payable on the maturity date and par value is denoted by capital letter F. And there are three conditions that you need to remember in relation to par value or face value and price of a bond. If the price of a bond is equal to the face value, that means the bond is purchased at par. And if the price of a bond is less than the face value, the bond is purchased at a discount. And if the price of a bond is greater than the face value, the bond is purchased at premium. And then we have term of a bond that is a fixed period of time in years at which the bond is redeemable as stated in the bond certificate number of years from time of purchase to maturity date. And lastly, we have Pair period of a bond, that is the present value of all cash inflows to the bond holders. And those are the different terms that you need to remember in studying bonds. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number one, determine the amount of the semi-annual coupon for a bond with a face value of 300,000 pesos that pays 10% payable semi-annually for its coupons. So to solve the given problem, let us identify first our given. So let us have the face value that is 300,000 pesos. And then we have coupon rate. Coupon rate, that is the rate per coupon payment period. And that is 10%. Or if we are going to write this one in decimal, that is 0.10. To determine the amount of the semi-annual coupon, the first step that we are going to do is to find the annual coupon amount. So let us have annual coupon amount. So to find the annual coupon amount, let us simply multiply the face value and the coupon rate. And that is 300,000. Multiply by 10% and that is 0 0.10 in decimal. 300,000 multiplied by 0 0.10, it will give us 30,000 pesos. So this will be the annual coupon amount. And to find the semi-annual coupon amount, let us have semi-annual coupon amount, let us simply multiply the annual coupon amount that is 30,000 by one half. One half because we have semi-annually. So 30,000 multiplied by one half, it will give us 15,000 pesos. So the amount of the semi-annual coupon is 15,000 pesos and this will be our answer. Always remember, the coupon rate is used only for computing the coupon amount. It is usually paid semi-annually. It is not the rate at which money grows. Instead, the current market conditions are reflected by the market rate and is used to compute the present value and future payments. On example number 2, suppose that a bond has a face value of 100,000 pesos and its maturity date is 10 years from now. The coupon rate is 5% semi-annually 
find the fair price of this bond assuming that the annual market rate is 4%. To solve the given problem, let us identify first our given. So let us have the coupon rate that is 5% or 0 0.05 in decimal payable semi-annually. And then we have the face value which is 100,000 pesos. And then we have number of conversion period in a year that is 2 because we have semi-annually. And then time that is 10 years. And to compute for number of payments, we are going to have N equals M times T. That is number of conversion period in a year multiplied by time. And that is 2 times 10. It will give us 20 periods. And then we have the annual rate or the market rate that is 4% or in decimal that is 0. 0 0.04. So after identifying the given, the next step that we are going to do is to compute for the semi-annual coupon amount. So let us have semi-annual coupon amount. Let us have 100,000 multiply by coupon rate that is 0 0.05 over 2 because we have semi-annually. So 100,000 multiplied by 0 0.05 over 2, it will give us 2,500 pesos. So the semi-annual coupon amount is 2,500 pesos. That means the bondholder received 20 payments of 2,500 pesos each and 100,000 at T equals 10. And the next step that we are going to do is to compute for the present value of 100,000 pesos. So to find the present value of 100,000 pesos, we are going to use the formula present value equals face value over quantity 1 plus interest rate per period raised to time. So let us have 100,000 over quantity 1. And to find the value of J, we are going to have annual rate or the market value or market rate divided by number of conversion period in a year, that is M. So we have here annually, and that is 0 0.04 divided by 1. It will give us 0 0.04. So this will be the value of interest rate per period. So let us have 1 plus 0 0.04 raised to time, that is 10. And to simplify, let us here write 100,000 over 1 plus 0 0.04, that is 1.04 raised to 10. Let us simplify the denominator. Let us have 100,000 over 1.04 raised to 10. It will give us 1.48. 0244285 and if we are going to divide this one it will give us 67556.42 so this will be the present value of 100000 And the next step that we are going to do is to compute for the present value of 20 payments of 2,500 each. So to do that, let us convert 4% to equivalent semi-annual rate. So let us use the formula interest rate per period equals quantity 1 plus I raised to M that is the market rate divided by M. That is the number of conversion period in a year. 
raised to m sub 2, that is the frequency conversion annually, over m sub 1, that is the frequency conversion semi-annually, minus 1. So let us have quantity 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by the frequency conversion annually, that is 1. And then we have the frequency conversion annually, that is m sub 2. We have 1 over m sub 1, that is the frequency conversion semi-annually, that is 2 minus 1. So let us have quantity 1 plus 0 0.04 raised to 1 half minus 1. And then let us add this one. It will give us 1 plus 0 0.04, that is 1.04, raised to 1 half minus 1. Or you can write this one as 1.04 raised to 0 0.5, because 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5 minus 1. And then let us have 1.04, raised to 0 0.5, it will give us 1.019803903, then minus 1. And to simplify, the value of interest rate per period equals 0 0.019803903. So, And to compute for the present value of 20 payments of 2,500 pesos each, we are going to use the formula present value equals regular payment times the quantity 1 minus quantity 1 plus interest rate per period, that is J, raised to negative N, that is the number of payment all over interest rate per period. So let us have regular payment that is 2,500 times the quantity 1 minus quantity 1 plus the value of J that is 0 0.019803903 raised to negative N that is negative 20 all over 0. 0198039030 So let us rewrite 2500 and then let us have 1 minus let us add this one it will give us 1.019803903 raised to negative 20 all over 0 0.019 8039030 and then let us have 2500 and then we have 1 minus 1 1.019803903 raised to negative 20 it will give us 0 0.67556412 and then let us write the denominator. So let us have 2,500 multiplied by quantity 1 minus 0 0.67556416688. And that is 0 0.324353586. And then let us have the denominator that is 0 0.019803903. And let us divide this one. So if we are going to divide this one, it will give us 16.3824.1872. And let us multiply this one by 2500. It will give us... 40,956.05. So this will be the present value of 20 payments of 2,500 each. And finally, let us compute the price of this bond. So let us simply add 
the present value of 100,000 and the present value of 20 payments of 2,500 pesos each. So let us have price equals 67,556.42 plus the present value of 20 payments of 2,500 pesos each that is 40,956.05. And if we are going to add this one, it will give us 108,512.47 pesos. So this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.